Hey guys, today I actually will teach you how to take a screenshot on your Android device. A lot of people don't know how to do that. So today I will teach you how to do that. And starting today, until the end of the month, I will teach you a lot of different contents, tricks, features on your Android device. So you will not get lost. If you're coming from my phone or you already have Android device for so long, I will teach you step by step how to make your phone much better. Little features or little tricks how you do things. All right, so let's get the video rolling. Hey guys, so if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do so and I will give you new content every single day this month just to make your phone much better. Even though if you do not know how to do certain things, I will just gonna help you to teach you a little things to make your phone much better and much easier to operate Android device. Make sure to subscribe and press the bell button, you will get a notification, all right? So let's start the tutorial. So let's just use a simple way. If you want to do a screenshot on an Android device, it's very easy. Usually what we'll do is, we just press the down button and the power button. When you press together, it will do a screenshot, okay? Just like that. And you just took a screenshot. The second way is, it's actually using your, not palm, but the side of your hand and swipe from left to right. Once you swipe, it will do a screenshot as well too. But apparently a lot of people do not have that type of features. Only some Samsung phone have that type of features using left to right. So that's another way to do a screenshot. These are the two ways that are very simple, easy. Just press the down button and then the power button and that's it. Sometimes if you have the LG phones, it's a down button and the home button, you press together, you will do a screenshot as well too. But for majority Samsung phone, power button and down, volume down button, you press together, it will do a screenshot just like that. Now let's talk about the advanced way. So we have a Note series with the S Pen and this S Pen can do a screenshot as well too. So basically, if you look closely, we can actually use the word called Smart Select. So Smart Select is a way to do screenshots, but it's actually selecting which area you want to do a screenshot of. So you can actually do a screenshot on a certain area. That's how simple it is. That's one way. The second way is you can do the screenshot as in screen right on the screen. So if you want to write something on the screen, there is like this thing called screen write. And when you press the button, they will do a screenshot for you. You can, you can start writing on the screen. Let's just say if you have a map and you want to tell a certain person that like I'm on this area right now, you can actually go to the screen write and you can start writing on the screen with the S Pen, no problem. This is, uh, this is the fourth way of taking a screenshot and you can write things right away. The fifth way of taking a screenshot is actually taking a screenshot of the whole web page. And this only allow on a Samsung device, any Samsung device. You take a screenshot like this and then there's an arrow button. Once you press the arrow button, you can continuously press the arrow button until it captures the whole web page and then it will be safe as in the whole web page screenshots. So this is the fifth way of doing it and this only happens when you are using a Samsung device. And lastly, and this is only happening when you have the S Pen, is you take the screenshot from the Smart Select, let's just say you highlight a certain part of the screen. You see that? Now you can actually extract text or you can actually copy and paste the logo, only the logo, whatever they recognize, only copy the logo. So you can actually screenshot that little logo and take it out and then you can actually put it on whatever you want. You can actually press that button and then it will just capture that little thing, okay? When I press done, it will just happen to be that one logo that you want to copy and paste, not the whole page. So this is only happen if you have the S Pen, okay? If you have the Note series. If you have no Note series, it doesn't work like that, okay? It doesn't even happen on the S series 
as well. So these are the way to take a screenshot on your phone. Samsung phone usually is more advanced, so you can take, there's a lot of different ways of taking a screenshot. But if you have Android device, you want to make it simple, easy, just press this two button and that's a screenshot for you. Super easy, super simple, and that's it. Subscribe my channel, share this video. I will have a new content tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Peace out.